It's the first no charge solar powered car is being developed right here in San Diego. Heather Lake shows us how it works. Hi, Heather. Well, it definitely looks like the car of the future, but you're going to start to see cars like this on the road. We're going to talk about when a solar powered car. This is called Aptera Motors. I've got Steve Fambro with me. You're one of the co-founders to talk about the technology behind this. So we see the solar panels on this car. They look way different than any kind of solar panel that we've seen before. So how does this all work? Well, <clears throat> unlike solar panels on your house, big flat panels, these cells are actually made in the composite structure and they're flexible in both directions. And so as part of the vehicle structure, they tie into a system that charges the vehicle up to about 40 miles per day, depending upon where you live. Okay, so eventually you will have to plug this car in, but for your daily driver, maybe to get to the office and back or college campus and back, whatever it may be, this should work without ever having to use that kind of energy. Yeah, you know, if you drive between, let's say, 10 to 15,000 miles per year, depending upon where you live, you may never have to plug it in. But if you take a long trip, then you'd plug it in like a regular electric vehicle. Let's talk about kind of the foundation and the ideas, all the inspiration behind the car, because when you look at it, you're like, wow, it looks like something from the Jetsons. Um, um, and a lot of the EVs that we're seeing right now obviously look like a normal sedan. You look at Tesla, you look at some of the other cars that are coming out. Why does this one look so futuristic? Why is it important that it looks this way? Well, it's important for us to make sure EVs can proliferate. And in order to do that, we think one of the best things that companies can do is to make them more affordable. And to make them more affordable, you reduce the most expensive part, which is the batteries. And we do that by making it very streamlined and also lightweight. Awesome. I mean, it looks cool. Drives cool. We were just in it. And so this is kind of neat. I didn't realize it could go so fast. Explain the performance behind the car. Well, it really starts with the lightweight structure and the in wheel motors. There's no gearbox, there's no drive shaft, there's no CV joints. And so all of the power is right there. It's very simple, easy architecture. And the full power is available from zero RPM. Wow. Okay, before we go back to the studio, let's talk about the materials that it's made out of um, because it's almost made out of something more like an airplane than a car. And you've got a couple of examples over here yeah. just so people understand kind of the safety behind it. Because I look at it and I go, oh, I don't know if I would want to get in a crash in something like this. Yeah, so the lightweight composites are about seven times stronger than steel per weight. So it lets us make a really strong structure that's lightweight. And it's, it's pretty hard to damage. And I'll do with a little test right here. Okay. And no dents. No dents. There you go. Um, obviously, you guys are have doing um, some evaluation right now. Um, this is a startup. So how much would one of these cost? Uh, the models range between $25,000 for the base 250-mile option up to 49,000 for the 1,000 mile range option. Okay, all right, lots of options there. For more information on what's going on at Terra Motors, fox5sandygood.com, all you need to do is click on that scene on tab. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio for now.